cell towers near me. I filter my electricity. I don't have any cordless technology except for one cordless phone that doesn't radiate all the time, and I use it only when absolutely essential. So um, I, I have a cell phone that I hardly ever use, only when I travel, and it's for me to make calls rather than for people to reach me. So um, I, I minimize my exposure. I'm, I use wired internet access at home and I use wired internet access at, at uh, work as well. And you don't have anything coming in from your neighbors? Uh, no, no. We had, um, our neighbors had a cordless phone and I, I mentioned this to them and they've replaced it with a corded phone because I actually said, you know, you're being exposed much more than I am but I'm picking it up in my home. Our homes are separated by about 30, 40 feet so I'm, I'm quite fortunate in that regard. I'm now beginning to pick up some of the Wi-Fi from neighbors, and I'm going to ask them if they'll just shut it off in the evening so that uh, when I'm sleeping, I'm not exposed. But my exposure is very low. People who are electrically sensitive have come to my home, and, and they see, say they feel very comfortable and that they don't have any of their symptoms. Right. So, But really, you're still participating in that don't know factor. Yes, yes. And I try to minimize my exposure as much as I possibly can. Yes. You know, I'm not excessive about it. I, you know, I travel on airplanes and I go to airports and, you know, I'm in hotels that sometimes have wireless and, and so I'm stuck with it, but I'm not exposed nearly as much as most of my colleagues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's such a, it becomes a real, I mean, it can keep you up at night just, and especially for me as a mother. See, me as an adult, I, I feel safe with your approach, right? And that's what I do for myself. Mm-hmm. But with my kids, I wonder if it's enough. Yeah, you want to be even more careful with them. I agree. I agree. You know, I'm wondering if, okay, do we need to move to, say, 20 or 30 acres and stick the house in the middle? And, you know, like how far do we need to go so that in 10 years my kids aren't, you know, don't have a cancer? Or uh, Mm -hmm. it's so hard to know. It is. And you can't eliminate all stress and you know, in a person's life, but you can certainly minimize it. You know, there are communities. There's a community, it's called Green Bank in West Virginia, and it's near a radio telescope. And um, it's a, a huge radio telescope that's picking up microwaves and radio frequencies from outer space. And because they have to, they're, they're picking up very, very weak signals, um, they won't allow cell phone use in the community. You can't have cordless phones. You can't have wireless routers. Uh, you, can't oh. even ha- you can't even have uh, energy-efficient light bulbs because they produce this radiation because it will interfere with the radio telescope. So people who are electrically sensitive have actually gone to live there because they know that you can't put up a cell tower. It's, mm. it's illegal. Um, and so I think you've got to, you know, and there are a few communities like that that are popping up where electrically sensitive people go and they're trying to keep it as clean as possible. Right. So maybe just wait for more of those to be. Mm-hmm. Because, see, then we, we come to the same thing. It's like, okay, so we move to 20 acres out in the country, but then what if they start adding more cell towers out exactly. there? Exactly. Exactly. It's almost impossible to, you know, go places and assume that nothing will ever come into your neighborhood. I think what we really need to do is educate the general public and educate the government, get the guidelines reduced, um, educate doctors so that when patients come to them with these symptoms, instead of just giving them pills to reduce the pain or to put them to sleep or to get rid of the depression, they actually ask them a few questions about what they have in their homes and ask them to make changes in their environment, and that will actually help their symptoms as well. Do you think another common one is anxiety? Because yes, when you were talking is. about the heart and the chest and the that sound, to, I, I had a friend who was describing an anxiety attack, and that sounded mm-hmm. exactly like what she experienced. Yeah. That's right, and that's what people tell me. They're, it's like they're having an anxiety attack, and and I just tell them to go out of, away from the environment they're in, just to move somewhere. And if it's if this is what's causing it, their attack will go away, and that's basically what they end up doing. When it's children, they don't they don't understand this, and, and they get scared. And so I tell parents to explain that to their children as well. I have one friend who has a daughter who has these attacks, and she was going for some medical care at a hospital, and they had a lot of wireless technology, and her daughter developed all of the symptoms, you know, had an anxiety attack. And the mother was had, was cool enough, headed, that she said, look, we're going to be in here for a little while. As soon as we go out, it's going to go away. And she was right. The, you know, she took the daughter out of the environment as soon as they could get out, and the attack went away. 
and it wasn't an attack of fear of hospitals or anything like that. It was really something that was brought on by the wireless uh, and electromagnetic uh, pollution in, in that part of the hospital. Mm-hmm. Well, and yes, that's another huge thing is that a lot of the hospitals are going and have already gone wireless for all their communication and that's patient right. monitoring. and. Mm-hmm. So you well, at one stage, you, you couldn't go into a hospital with your cell phone because it would interfere with sensitive equipment, you know, that was particularly equipment in intensive care. And what they're doing now is they're um, shielding that equipment so your wireless communication can't interfere with it, but we're not able to shield the people who are also responding. They're interfered with. And so, right. so we can protect the equipment, but we can't protect individuals as readily. Yes. 